So I've been throwing a ton of MVP discs for the last month or so. They've kind of slowly been creeping into my bag. Today is not going to be an MVP video. Uh, my game plan is for roughly the next 30 days, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to be throwing an entire trilogy lineup. So Dynamic, West Side, Latitude. Latitude 64 has always been one of my favorite brands when it comes to disc golf. I feel like they consistently make some of the highest quality products. So I have a ton of Latitude stuff in the bag right now, a little bit of Dynamic, and then maybe I think I have one or two West Side discs. But today, I want to talk about the mid-range slot. I feel like this is where the Trilogy lineup really loses me, is with the mid-range lineup. Um, when I was throwing MVP products, I had the Paradox, I had the Hex, I had the Detour, uh, there's the Deflector. Uh, I love throwing the Tangent, which is unfortunately discontinued, but it was one of my favorite mid-ranges of all time, that Tangent. So I've got one of my first ever Trilogy discs that I ever owned from the first tournament I ever played. It's my Trilogy Challenge Evidence. I'm hoping this gives me some nice Heiser flip, some nice turnovers, um, but then I have some more stock stuff that we're going to also be checking out today. I've got a Gold Ice Fuse. I've got a Lucid Truth that I got all the way back in 2018 or 2019 at the War of the Waters tournament. That was at Lake Olmstead in Georgia. I've got an Infinite Special Edition Anchor, which I, f I got this out of the used bin in 2018. I played against sports. Kind of similar to a rock, I think, but maybe a little bit more stable. And then I also have the new sort of gold line Emac Truth with the Superfire pumpkin stamp. Um, this pumpkin stuff is new. You can click the link in the description below to save 10% on anything over at the website. All 50 orders over $50 ship for free over at Disc Golf Deals USA. But let's give everything a throw so you guys can see what all I'm working with here. So that guy obviously is very understable. We'll throw the truths next, then the fuse, and then the anchor. That truth is on the flippier side when it comes to truths, but I want something I can put up in the air and have it hold the entire way that isn't discontinued. And this gold line truth is a lot more stable than that lucid one. maybe because it's the EMAC variation. But it's a really nice flyer, but it's not quite understable enough for the specific slot that I'm looking for. This is the Gold Ice Fuse. Pretty good. That's the shot shape I want, but I can only get that shot shape when I have a headwind, which is what we have right now. And then I have the anchor here. which is much more stable than the truth and the fuse and the evidence, but it's not like super beefy. So we may need to also add an anvil into the bag, but I need to know what's your guys' favorite super overstable and then super understable trilogy mid-range. And I made a poll in the community posts. A lot of you guys saw it. I think it had almost 600 votes, but you guys wanted to see me come out and throw a full Latitude 64 bag for a month. And then at the end of the month, the game plan is to sign up for a local flex start or a local C or B tier, and then see how I can rate with these discs. Then sort of have like an overall performance review plus tournament performance to put into that equation. And then I can move on to another brand. So you guys can let me know what brand you wanna see me do next. Um, I'll definitely be taking your opinion into consideration when deciding the next brand that I'm going to throw for the next month. And you guys left let me know in the comments below. I really can't tell the difference between the Truth and the Emac Truth. I assume this is kind of like the Truth Pro per se, which the Pro molds are usually a little bit more stable. But when it comes to actually looking at the molds, they look exactly the same to the eye. So let me know in the comments below. What's the difference between the Truth and the Emac Truth? I have no idea. We'll throw them all in the same order. And that's how the evidence is going to fly in a non-headwind, a lot less flippy, as you can see. This is the fuse. I'm definitely tempted to try and get like some baseline fuses to mess around with. Because I do think a baseline fuse or recycled fuse could get me the shot that I'm looking for. 
but I really have to force it to get that turn the whole way through the flight. That one's pretty good, but I want that easy turn, like the tangent or the detour turn. I don't want to have to force it. I want it to be just smooth. <laughs> the truth is a disc that I really like a lot. That's something I'm excited to be throwing as like my workhorse. Just kind of force it flat mid, but where I play, I need to be able to throw hyzer flips and I need to be able to throw turnovers if I want to score well at these wooded courses I have locally. <sighs> that EMAC I can smash on. That thing goes really far. That is a very good mid range. Very underrated. Then we've got the anchor. Probably a lot of you guys have probably never even heard of the anchor. It's a really good disc as well. Just a hair more stable than the truth. For when I want just a little bit more stability, but I don't think I'm gonna like that one very much on forehands, which is why I need something probably even a tick more stable. Trilogy has a massively underrated distance driver, fairway driver, and putting putter lineup. Where I think they really fall short is with the approach discs and with the mid ranges. So I wanted to address the putters, um, the approach putters and the mid ranges first. So again, your feedback is extremely important early on in this process because I want to limit my learning curve as much as possible because the end goal is to just play as well as I possibly can with each given brand. So we're going to throw everything one more time. You guys can let me know which one or which discs you think need to stay in the bag or if there's some suggestions or audibles I need to make, you can let me know. Evidence. It's got the easy turn I'm looking for. It's not quite as flippy. Throw it on a similar hyzer line. Yeah, that is, I mean, it's pretty nice. And maybe I really do just need a recycled fuse. Or if there's a better option, let me know because the flippy mid is one of my favorite discs to throw. Maybe it is the fuse. The truths are money though. Man, the truths are like, surprising me, the truths are super money. EMAC is quite a bit more stable. And let's try and forehand the anchor. Kind of feels like a rock. Feels terrible on the forehand grip. But I guess we don't know until we try. Yeah. I mean, it was okay. I definitely need to update my forehand mid range as well. When it comes to the forehand mid, I just want something that is the most flat and is the most stable and that can be released on an Anheuser angle. So if you know which disc that is, let me know in the comments below. And for those of you who are not fans of Trilogy discs, don't worry, I'll still be covering all of the new drops. Disc Golf Deals USA hooked me up with a bunch of the upcoming new drops. I've got the Innova Proto Gloves coming up, um, a couple other really cool drops that I'm excited to share with you guys. But when it comes to the ongoing project, um, something I'm really passionate about working on, learning and understanding a new brand is always something that I really find exciting and interesting, and I hope you guys find it exciting and interesting too. It's good to mix up your bag. It keeps things fun and exciting. It's just a fun way to continue building on the hobby that you already love, in my opinion. So we've got the evidence, we've got the fuse, we've got two truths, one EMAC, one uh, normal lucive non-EMAC, and then we have a VIP anchor. So that's what we're working with at the moment. Let me know what discs you think I need to try in the comment section down below. Again, this is an interactive experience and it's something that I'm excited to collaborate with you guys, the fans of the channel with. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay humble, live with gratitude. I'll see you in the next one and take care.